All right, so in example 79, we're trying to find the probability that a standard normal random variable is greater than negative 1.25. So let's draw the bell curve, because you know what z means. It means the standard normal curve. So I draw a bell curve. Not the prettiest curve I've ever drawn, but there it is. We're going to label a z axis here, and put zero at the center now, right? So where would negative 1.25 be? Well, it would be on the left, right? Because it's a negative number. Draw a line above that on the curve, and then shade the appropriate area. Now remember, this is saying z values that are greater than this number. Greater than is to the right. And if you don't, can't read that, then just remember the rule that if the variable is on the left, that symbol will actually point to where you have to shade, right? It literally points to the right, so we will shade to the right. Okay, so. Okay, so we're looking for that area, right, on the curve, that shaded area. All right, well, let's go to our chart and look up the only number we're given to look up. But before we do that, what will we get when we look it up? We'll get the area from this line to the center. Remember that, right? We won't get anything more than that. So how are we going to figure out this area? Well, actually, that's pretty simple because logically, if this area is half of the curve that's shaded, it should be worth half of the total area. Well, the total area is 1, so half of that is, of course, 0.5. So we know the area in here, it must be 0 0.5000. So we know the area in there is 50%. So what we're going to have to do is take the area from our chart here and add it to this area on the right-hand side. This goes ahead with what I said earlier, which is that whenever you shade across the middle here, you add the two numbers together, right? So we're going to add the number we get from the chart to the other half of the curve, and that will give us our total area. So let's go to the chart and look up 1.25 and see what the table gives us. Okay, so I'm trying to look up negative 1.25, but we know we don't have negatives on the chart, so we're just going to have to look up 1.25. So there's the 1.2. And if I go over to where it says 5, I'll have 1.25, and I get the answer 0 0.3944, 0 0.3944. Okay, so we found 0.3944, or 39.44%. So the probability that our z-score value is greater than negative 1.25 will be equal to 0.5, plus 0.3944. If we do that, we get 4498, or in other words, 89.44%. So 89.44%. And that is the probability that you are greater than negative 1.25 on the standard normal curve.